Hello everyone, it's Jude here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Stories. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and of course use Gboard on your Galaxy Watch. Now, Gboard is one of the best keyboards as far as typing with your Galaxy Watch is concerned. In fact, I did a video comparing Gboard and Samsung keyboard. I have both installed on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here. So to download Gboard, simply go to the Google Play Store. It is very easy, okay? I'll just check to see that I have Wi-Fi enabled here, all right? If your phone is nearby, you can use your phone and um, sell the data as well. So simply go to the Google Play Store app here. Now from here, search for Gboard. And I'll type on search here. Tap on the search icon here. So you should see, so you should see Gboard, okay? So go ahead and download and install it on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now, once you have installed Gboard, simply go to the Settings app. Now scroll to General. Scroll to General. Go to Input, okay? Now from here, you should see Keyboard List and the default, tap on it. Below that, we can see the keyboards I have installed on my Galaxy Watch, okay? So you have the option of choosing between these two. So I'll tap on this. By default, Samsung keyboard is chosen. So I'll just tap on this to choose Gboard, okay? Now, once you have chosen Gboard, you should see that when you try to reply to a message, come in. When you try to reply to a message, um, like this one here, Okay, this is what the Gboard interface looks like. Okay, I love the font size here, it looks so good. And you can capitalize this. Okay, and at the top here, you have the option of switching to emoji. I'll tap on the keyboard icon here, and you can actually switch to symbols and all of that numbers and symbols. Unfortunately, for now, the microphone icon here is available, but you cannot reply with your voice as far as um, Gboard is concerned. Though with Samsung keyboard, you can actually reply with your voice. Now for Gboard here, yeah, if we go back to the Gboard, um, to the settings menu here, and we go to Gboard, you have the option of choosing your preferred language. If you go to languages here, okay, I have chosen this too. This supports a total of 98 languages. And below that, you have the option of vibrate on key press. I chose to turn this off because it can have a significant impact on battery life. You also have pop up on key press, okay? Yeah. And you have enable glide typing, okay? And below that, you can choose to share your usage statistics with Google. I have both Gboard and the default Samsung keyboard installed on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here. Once in a while, I like to switch between the two of them. So guys, that is how you can install and use Gboard on your Galaxy Watch 4, 5, and 6. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. And of course, do not forget to turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.